Now, I've been talking about how public libraries is a great option for core cards for a long time. Just the DVDs they rent is an amazing option that you really should take advantage of. You'd be amazed what's out there. I don't think it, as many people go to libraries as used to be. I'm finding that um, content there is much more readily available probably because of that. So check it out. And not only do they have DVDs, but they also have Hoopla Digital. Increasingly, pretty much every library now I think offers some type of digital offering. Hoopla is pretty much the gold standard, I think, of that. They rent audiobooks, movies, um, ebooks, uh, music, TV shows, the list goes on and on. And when I say rent, I mean borrow because it's included with your library membership. Now, each library will probably have different rules. The ones I have is 50 titles per month. That means I can watch 50 movies or download 50 albums and or mix and match it however I want every month. And 50, at least for me, is a really good number because I'm not watching more than one movie a day. So they have a little bit of everything, including rare titles like DuckTales the Movie, The Treasure of the Lost Lamp. I don't think I've ever seen that on a streaming service. They really do have a surprising large number of Disney movies, The Sword and the Stone. Uh, let's keep going here. Short Circuit, really a little bit of everything. Everything from kids to dramas and more are all right here. Uh, they also have music. Let's kind of check that out real quick. Maybe I didn't click it. There we go. I uh, like they have the new Beauty and the Beast movie from Disney. Sing soundtracks, 80s mixtapes. They really, it's a really nice um, collection of movies and TV shows, current artists, um, mixes of different kinds. I can go in here and I can take a look at the Beauty and the Beast. I can see everything that's in here. There is 52 tracks from the movie. I can borrow this whole thing and stream on my phone, iOS, tablet, Android, and so forth. So that's pretty cool. Let's take a look at television shows. Um, let's take a look at their recommended. You see you got SpongeBob SquarePants, MERS Mysteries, The Great Courses, which is a great series. If you ever, these are like college, these are college level classes at major universities for free to watch. I took one um, some time ago on a streaming service like this that was a, uh, uh, look back, I think World War II, I did one. I did one on US history. That was kind of cool. I love history. Um, so that's a pretty cool feature. A lot of PBS content is in here. And just a little mixture of everything. Some Viacom stuff is mixed in. The Super Mario Brothers sh Super Show. That's another one I don't think I've seen in a long time on a streaming service. And it goes on and on. Um, let's check out audiobooks. I'm a huge audiobook fan. I love that they have good first rate original content and classics like 1984. Um, the list goes on and on. And again, um, you can go in here and take a look at categories. So say, I want some humor today. And right here is humor. Um, let's say I'm not in the mood for humor. I want to learn something. Let's check out the history section. So Dunkirk just made into a major movie. Right there, you can listen to the book. Um, Hidden Figures, which is another movie course um, or book. I, I paid for audiobooks all my life. Stephen E. Ambrose, I'm a huge fan of his work. Uh, he does some really good history, so check it out. Um, Hoopla Digital, again, let's check out the comic books so you can get digital access to the comic books. Let's check out the recommended. And it's a pretty nice selection here. Um, one last category, um, eBooks. For everybody who loves to uh, borrow books, you got Star Wars, some of the newer ones out there, romance novels. Let's go up here and check out the different categories. Um, Let's see what they have in adapted to film. Let's look at movies that became film. The Lion King, uh, some Star Wars ones, A Diary of a Wimpy Kid, The Jungle Book. That's pretty cool. I I don't have that one for my daughter. We may get that. Monsters Inc. Ebook format. A lot of Disney content here. So I could go on and on. I wanted to give you an idea of the access, or the availability of it. It's great for on PC, tablets. Uh, phones. I love the fact that I can access audiobooks. Uh, I love audiobooks. I was just flying all over the place and the audiobooks make that perfect. If you'd like to learn more about this, I put a link down below. They just announced a big deal with Viacom to add a ton of the Viacom, um, you know, especially with Nickelodeon uh, shows are coming to Hoopla starting today when I'm recording this. So it's a really cool service. They do a really good job with it. 
If you're not a member of your public library, I'd encourage it, you to check it out. You're supporting it with your taxes. You might as well take advantage of what they have to offer. And whether it be the DVDs or Hoopla, I think you really could get your, um, your time's worth by going to visit them because it's all free with your membership to your local library. Questions, comments, let me know. If this video has helped you, hit a thumbs up. It really does help us. And hopefully we can help you get the most out of your core coding experience. Don't forget to join us every Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern, for our weekly Q&A. goes for about an hour, and we do our best to answer your core coding related questions. So thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, and hopefully we can help you get the most out of your core coding experience.